Hello, my name's Adele Dobrovsky, and I'm here to give you a taste of Redeemer's new book, Faith Locked Down. This is called Multiplication. This morning I was reading about the feeding of the 5,000 men, plus all the women and children, in Matthew's Gospel. Somehow, I felt this was such a relevant passage for us today, at this time, when so many of us are confined to our homes because of COVID-19 and may be feeling useless or inadequate. Matthew tells us that when the disciples came to Jesus and told him to send the crowds away so that they could buy food, his answer was, they do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. I love the fact that he recognized that they had a need to satisfy the hunger, which often happens to us all when we've been in a lengthy meeting. But his next words are astounding. You give them something to eat. I can imagine if that had been sent to me, I would have thought, me? Doesn't he know that I don't have anything with me? Where am I going to get food from? And who's going to pay for it and cart it all the way back? No way I can feed them. Haven't we all sometimes felt like that when faced with a situation or challenge which is so great, so beyond what we can do, beyond our own ability? This can make us feel so insignificant and so powerless to do anything about it. And now, to make it even worse, we are stuck inside our homes, having a hard time to keep our spirits up. But Jesus still says, you give them something to eat. To you, to me, to all of us. You see, when we give Jesus the little we have, he can provide for the crowds. He can do the multiplication. He can bring the solution to the insurmountable problem. From your home, from your room, just bring it to him and do as he says. I love the fact that Jesus didn't just do the miracle on his own, like ask the Father to send manna from heaven. He involved the apostles, invited them to be part of the miracle he was about to perform. And later they, not Jesus himself, handed out the bread and the fish and saw it multiply in their own hands as they distributed it. Can you imagine what that must have done? for their faith levels? Can you imagine their joy as they saw the need being filled? Wow. You see, Jesus wants us to offer ourselves to him and then carry out his instructions. Jesus is looking for partners in his great work, even today, even with COVID still hanging over our heads, even in our own homes, even with a little we have. Let's place whatever we have before Jesus today and say, Jesus, I only have this to give you. It's not much, but show me how to use it for your glory. We will be amazed at how he can multiply it. Thank you for listening. Look out for news on where you can get your copy of Faith Locked Down. Bye for now.